All right, so let's bring out our first guest. You may know him from such singles as Park My Car in Your Grave and also No One Can Kill Me. Seriously, they've tried. Parenthetical, I'm going to live forever. It's Papa Cock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's up? What's up, dog? How's it, how's it going, Papa Cock? Oh, it's, it's going, man. It's going there. It's going back, too. Wow, that sounds... That sounds rigorous. It is. It's very tiring, actually. Yeah? yeah. How, how long was the flight over here? Oh, it wasn't bad. It was like two hours and some change. I mean, it flew by because I was hammered. Oh, yeah? No, I wasn't drunk. I was just hammering things. Like, I built birdhouses and shit. Like, birds are the future. I've heard that. And dogs are the future of birds. It's all connected. I've heard that's conjecture. Now, uh, for anyone who doesn't know Papa Cock, I know, I know you're thinking. Who, who the fuck? Don't, I, I know. I was just fuck? about to say. No, I know you you're probably thinking. Who mouth. the fuck? Yeah. But for anyone who doesn't know, you know, yeah, humor me. I, I, for humor. anyone who doesn't Call me know, good humor man. Yeah. Why don't you explain to the listeners out there who Papa Cock is? Oh, Papa Cock be living Lord, son. I be releasing CDs, EPs, LPs. Uh, cassette singles. I released like this uh, laser disc once out of confusion, and uh, I put together this uh, box set. It was like a book deal, I think. I wrote a book, but it was like a kids' book. It was called Papa Cockby Teaching You Shit, Son, <laughs> with like exclamation mark, like two exclamation marks in the end, like Papa Cockby Teaching You Shit, Son. How many copies do you think you sold of that? I had a, like an exclusive deal with. Uh, it wasn't Amazon. It was like Arizon or something. Um, oh, yeah. No, they've, like, they've gone under. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> Much like one of the other people you're, you're contracting oh, with, Oh, yeah. Right? I'm, I'm supposed to talk about Napster. Uh, if, you, if you go on... Well, you can't get on the Napster anymore right now, but uh, if you log on to what used to be... In, I guess that don't make no sense. I don't know. I signed this contract with Napster back in the day, like, and I'm, I'm contractually obligated to talk about it, and... Um, yeah, like my Papa, Ka- my city's not even on there. Um, like just talk about that. Can we stop talking about Napster right now? I've been freaking talking about Napster so much. Napster. I uh, do apologize about that. Um, so I just got a couple of questions for you, Papa Cock. It's oh yeah, first episode. Dog. Got a question for you. Yeah, I gotta know. Yeah, what is the craziest fan interaction that you have ever oh, had? Holy shit, my fans be crazy. I had this paraplegic kid, right? He's in the front row. You know what I'm talking about? Like he's like right. a paralegal, but uh, he can't shit right. So he's he's got them busted. Like I think his balls work, but like his his legs all right. like right. Yeah, he's like I fucking love you. I fucking love you, Papa Cock. And I was like, shut the fuck up. And I threw this wiffle ball at him because <laughs> we were playing wiffle ball in the back. Right. I have right heard there. that. But you I do didn't. Do that. I didn't yes. mean to hurt him. Mm-hmm. And he was like, he just fucking was like, like I love you. And he stood up and he walked and just fucking. Power of hip hop, you know. So you you're saying Papa Cock, you the hip hop legend that you supposedly are. Uh, you why'd you say it like that? You said it with like he I, y'all can't see him, but he used air quotes right there. Oh, I, I just I, but you're I, looking me in the eye, so I don't know why you say air like I'm not gonna pick up on it. I can see you. <laughs> it's just one of those things you do, you know. Yeah. I I'm have not... you ever healed someone with the power of hip hop? <sighs> Probably. That don't sound definitive, dog. Look, hey, hey, hey. I, I'm sorry for the air quotes. It probably yeah. was just, you know, a muscle. Uh, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, dog. We cool. We tight. Are we cool? Oh, we cool. All right, all you uh, Tommy Cool fans out there listening, Tommy Cool and Papa Cock are cool with a K. <laughs> nah, with a C. With a K. I didn't agree to that. Uh, another question, Papa. Yeah. What is your songwriting process like? Because, you know, for me, for the longest time, uh, my process was, and you know, sometimes still is, uh, to shoot up some of that tasty black tar heroin and just go to town on my Casio keyboard for a few hours until I pass out in a pool of my own sweat. But maybe you do things differently. So oh, what's, wh- yeah. how is it for you? I'm inspired by, by real life. Like, you, you hear my song, Women Are Objects? You know that one? I, I did hear that, yes. Yeah, like, uh, like, I saw this woman and I was like, man, I wish I could, like, like own her like an object so i was like there's like a like a antique exactly like an antique man like like i was like i want to pick her up and 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 like like own her and 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 and, uh dust her off and put put her her on the shelf put her on the shelf yeah i i think i've also i think you know what i don't think there's a man out there alive who hasn't felt the same way yeah and i was like man i wish that woman was an object and then i was like women are objects like if I took her out to dinner, I'd make her pick up the check because I ain't going to pay, but I want you, bae. Right. It's, so, it's cool stuff like that. Women are objects, parentheses, buy them. 
I got to say, I got to be honest, <laughs> Papa, forgive me. Yeah. <laughs> In my opinion, that wasn't one of your stronger reps. Well, it was my early, it was my early, my early well, work. you know, look at me, right? I Whoa. became big at 17, uh, so. Uh, yeah, you became like large at 17, and okay. you stayed that well, way. That's, uh, that's what happened. That is something I've uh, struggled with for years, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, if I don't uh, point it out, who will? Okay, well. Uh, I'm your boy. Okay, well, for all the fans listening out there, just know that I am uh, critiquing Papa Cock on his subpar rhyme skills, whoa, whoa, whoa. and he is resorting sub, to sub talk bar. about my weight. How many gold records you sold? How many gold cassette tapes you sell? How many gold little uh, Are we talking gold that rubs singles? off green when you touch it enough, or actual gold? Nah, you put out a children's book? I don't think so. Okay, you know yeah, what? I may not have right. ever put out a, I children's, put out a book. children's book. You know what? You know what? What? You know what? What? You know what? You keep saying that. I think that we should stop talking and, and start getting to what made us both big. That's that's better than what I was going to say. And I'm not talking the about corn stars for me. Is... I'm talking about straight hip hop. All right. All right off the right. cuff, off the brain, off the dome, freestyle, never before heard, improvised, right now, never before again. Oh, you in for it, son. I grew up on the streets of Lake Mary. Uh, Nick California, I think we got a track... Nate California, my producer and my sound person, get ready to drop that track freestyle. Oh, you don't want to do this, dog. You don't want to do this. I get aggressive. You sure? I'm sure. Let's you hear do it. This shit. You sound right. scared. What? What's your, your, your name? Tommy Cool, right? All right, yo. Tommy Cool, he look like a fool, got a face for the drool, fucking drown in a pool, a fucking die in a duel, rhymes are scary like a ghoul. You ever watch like Scooby Doo and shit? Gonna take his ass to school, teaching the rule. If you see his face, you'll wonder how could God be so cruel? Because he fucking ugly as fuck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's kind of harsh. Talk about when you were a kid. When he was a kid, I think he went to dance school, but he was late because, like, he also went to shul because I think he's fucking Jewish. And then he was seven, and he fell off a step stool. And I know that fucker used to masturbate to Paula Abdul. Yo, like, one time his friend convinced him this girl liked him, but it wasn't true. And then he was like, April Fool! Right? Wow. <laughs> Fuck that guy. All right. Fuck him in his. I guess I gotta come back at that. Yes. <clears throat> Yo. Listen, Papa Cock, you're gonna need a shot of vodka when I'm done with you. I'm like an author of a book or two, Wait, writing you out of history. <laughs> Ain't no mystery. I'm the best in the biz. Tommy, cool the best that there ever was. I'm the best that there ever was because I once run with was is? in the Beastie Boys. <laughs> Ain't done much since. But you don't need recent experience hey, to wipe the stretch. floor with your ass, son. By the time this rap is done, I'm going to wipe your ass, son. <laughs> I'm going to wipe that crack. Why are you wiping my ass? Send you crying home to mama. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. I killed it. I you, think we know who won. Yeah, you died. I did. No, I, wait. For real? Yeah. For real, dog, you were really bad at rapping. You like? No, <laughs> I think I was the winner. But yeah, you know what? Yeah, you know what? No. You know what? You know no. what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Okay. Papa, what? let's let our listeners decide yeah, who won. Okay? Listener. Why don't you tweet me at Cool Tommy and uh, tell me who you think really just killed it on the mic? Papa Cook or Tommy Cool? Papa Kick.